Come. And in part by AT&T. It's all within your reach. And we are back inside of Madison Square Garden as the AT&T Big East Championship continues. Pretty good half, especially if you're a Georgetown Ahoya fan. Dan Shulman and Bill Raftery back with you. A nine-point lead for the Hoyas. And no surprise when they're playing well. They're getting it down the floor and scoring easy buckets. Uh, the zone's been good to them, too. I mean, they've given up some open opportunities, particularly like Rob Hodgson started to light it up. They haven't gotten their A players going, Rutgers. But getting back on defense, you're going to just see here the short corner. Everybody out here because of the great outside shooting, particularly Billet. But after the score... Don't pat one another on the back. You're going to see the uh, the scores made. Now check this out. Bubakar out, and you're going to get Reese Gibson, and you've got some damage after a score. The drag to the right opens up the lane and the finish. That's something I'm sure that was addressed. Get back. Identify. Statistically, Georgetown shot awfully well. 48% out-rebounded Rutgers and outscored Rutgers in the paint. And that's why they're leading 35-26 and looking for a spot against UConn in the semis tomorrow. More games coming your way tonight. One on the deuce and one on ESPN. Rear three-pointer. Rutgers will make or break itself with that outside shot. They were tremendous against Georgetown when they beat them last month. They are just 2 of 12 from three-point range so far this afternoon. And that 2-3 zone, the foul line is open. They've got to exploit it. Maybe get one of their jump shooters there. Long going to work on Billet. Long with 6 in the first half. Not close there. 3 for 10 from the floor. Shannon Long. This is where Billet gets an early look. And a nice little shade there by Tuomu. Not a lot of inside offense for the Scarlet Knights. And now they're against a the man. They should be able to do nice penetration. <laughs> Finish. Tough guy. You can shoot it outside. you got to value the dribble. Fill it with eight. Very patient, waiting for Long to come around the screen. On the glass of the Hoyas again. And now draws the foul inside. Rob Hodgson picks it up. Now Bubakar out now, a senior stepping up not only as a leader, but as an offensive force as well. And that was early in the game. Just a nice clear out, the ability to turn and elevate. Excellent competitor, good without the basketball. And as you noted, Shahidi Gan, this is just classic. Pure jump shooting. Here's the scramble, able to pick that up. The defense came to him, and he was still able to elevate and knock it down. But you mentioned Shahidi going down, and all of a sudden, he mustered up enough courage. As Shahidi's been relegated to being an assistant coach slash fan. But it's made the season and the career, I think, for out. Mm -hmm. Broken ankle for Shahidi in January. Johnson wide open. Rutgers cannot hit from outside. There's a stack that pop out. Long got the curl before. This time it's a screen down, the zipper they call it. Hey, look at Joseph. Oh my goodness. Does he demand? <laughs> now out guarded by Hodgson. Rubicon might take it. That's the play we just showed. Here it is again. Everybody clear. He's able to elevate. Drop baseline. No. Charge. That's what happens a lot when you give a guy that room to roam. And John knows he's his A-man slash long. But here, it's his play. So he figures, well, whatever happens, I'm going to take it because it may not call it again. And not good judgment here, but pretty good defense as Hodgson also lets the house know some theatrics <laughs> off Broadway. See if Rutgers can cut into this a little bit. Sky can again bring you up and down the floor with the Scarlet Knights and the Hoyas. Billet for three. Nice follow. And a checkout foul, I think. Watkins, yep. Great effort by Eric Clark. And Billet's shaking his head because he knows he's getting these looks now. He's got to stay with the shot a little more. Maybe he's pulling back just a little bit. But Clark with great pursuit at the rim there. And he gave it that checkout by Jamil. Yeah, that's a big foul. Jamil Watkins picks up his third. Gibson getting set to check back in again. Jamil Watkins 
has had a lot of trouble staying on the floor. He only averages 17 minutes a game. Here's what the big three, at least yesterday they were the big three, for Rutgers did against West Virginia, and especially Clark and Johnson are really struggling today. Billet has had some open looks from outside, hasn't been able to knock him down. Hodgson having a better game today. Doesn't first half points, but if Rutgers doesn't hit some threes, they're going to have some problems. Well, that's why you need to Clark shaping up on the box for that foul area. There's a nice backdoor. T.D. Carrill. Far long, no. Underneath, Gibson hustling for the rebound. And the foul, I believe, is going to go to Hodgson. Now, Craig Escherich got up. Now, he seldom says anything. They thought it was a terrible foul, almost. Uh, John, too, who usually doesn't say too much. Ed Sprague, Mary Sellers, Raymond Nick, and Mike Riley. Craig, an attorney, by the way, in case you have any problems. Over here. <laughs> or down here. <laughs> it's a constant source of amusement here. <laughs> At the line, Gibson. Hasn't been there much this year, but he's done well when he has been there. 11 of 14. And for a guy who's played very often, he takes big jumpers and... He looks pretty confident. He, he sure does, and John's always been able to recruit good big players. Boom Shea, Boom Shea in that mole. Shahidi never really came of age, I don't think, but you know, big guys do take a longer time. He's got a great body, and who knows if he keeps working at it. Solid contribution for some club in the NBA. Eventually, I should say. Eight-point lead, Georgetown. Greer open on the wing. Oh, they are seven totally, huh? What would you do? I, I would the foul area against the zone. Look at all this dribble drive, obviously. And Billig so close. And Kevin Bannon's with it. Bringing his hands together. Because you can shoot, the zone extends totally. And look at this. Now look at this area. Dan, even you <laughs> could arrive before a shot clock violation. But as they stretch, a lot of dribbling room. And they're relying on the big people to negate any thrust by Billig or Johnson. Billet back of the line. That foul line area for Georgetown is the area where Bubakar Al so often flashes, gets the ball, and starts spinning and weaving and driving. We haven't seen much of that from, from the bigger players on Rutgers. Bill Patrick back in. Damian Bolden takes a seat. I mean, you could go watch a lot of Rutgers games and say they got to get it inside. They don't have that ability to score in there, so they've got to create a post presence, usually with the dribble or the mid-post mid area. Billet hits them both. Six-point game. Rutgers a 19-point winner over Georgetown last month, but this is a very different Georgetown team. Then, the Hoyas had just dealt with the loss of Kenny Bruner. Now they've adapted to it. And as we know, there's a nice flash by Bubakar you just mentioned. Too strong off the glass. Kilpatrick's having a good game, but has it taken away. Everybody's got a rebound for Rutgers. And they're giving up size at most spots. I'd say at all spots when you look around. Mm -hmm. Everybody's bigger than the guy guarding them. That generally is a problem. It's not a good thing. In basketball. A fan of the Scarlet Knights. There goes two over. Gibson. Nice look. And a soft touch. He sure does. Some minutes. Sophomore from the Bronx, probably pretty pumped up about playing here at the Garden. Oh, well, Hollow's kid, John Carey, longtime coach, successful one, I might add. Four minutes into the second half, Warriors by eight. I'll tell you, a kid, you know from there, Olden Colony. That's right. Oh, Hollow, look at Virginia. Now it's Sacramento. Nice screen. Look at this open look. Now he's got a nail out. See, he's not getting it up high enough. Top tip by Greer doesn't go. Rebound to Patrick. And once again, the early push. Long. Oh, big time, huh? Catch, gather, put it down as quick as you can with the first foot extended. And then knock it down. Kevin Bannon all over his players right now. Not happy at all with what he's seeing. They got Billet again if they come. See, now they're not reversing the ball, timing his cuts. There's Clark battling his way inside, and he had a wide open career in the paint. Finally, somebody cutting, and Clark didn't see him. And there's Hodgson with the flash. Billet. 
Getting away from Rutgers a little bit now. Well, that was a pretty good look. <laughs> too over his funny. He is, and his gestures. <laughs> You want a Gibson to come out, a little two one two set, and they circle the wagons around the high post. And if they don't get something in transition, they're using a lot of the clock. Good position for Al. Oh, good call. John Chow with the call. Ten point lead for the Hoyas as we head to a break. Early second half, semi-final spot on the line. Shernard Long filling it up for the Hoyas. John here, Rutgers is struggling terribly from outside, which generally has been one of their strengths. They've got four guys who can shoot it, but today none of them have been hot. Unbelievable, huh? 16 attempts, only two knockdowns. And in watching Billy, the only thing I can think, because you, he, he does strain a little bit when he does shoot it, getting all the energy. Nice pose. That's the spot. Clark follows the miss. That's all right, though. Get those kind of looks. They're better off. And then kick it out. But to finish the Billy thing, I think minutes and fatigue are part of it. And he plays, what, 38 minutes a yeah. game? Played 39 yeah. yesterday. Oh. Has played every minute today. Hodgson has played every minute today. And he's got to guard Shenard Long yeah. as well. When they yeah. do go man-to-man, -man, so he expends a lot of energy. Not a very deep team. They've got Sam Sanders back off the bench, giving Jeff Greer a rest. And Sanders gave him a boost in the first half. And you can see the size differential. That's why Long's able to elevate over. Nice keeping the dribble alive. Tough one by Long. Sanders grabs it. He hasn't made many mistakes, yeah. as he said. Yeah. He might be a real key down the stretch because he's got fresh legs. Ooh, why are you taking that? Keep sticking him out, Jeff. He hit the open one. Johnson looking for help. Finds the basket. And it missed the shot. And to go on Sanders. That's probably the way you played, huh? <laughs> one in doubt. Take a shot? Yeah. yeah. Until you get the hook. Well, he's sort of bailed himself out with the jumper. Doesn't get a bad look. Uh, Rutgers is doing a good job trying to free Billet, but the ball is not arriving at the proper time. It's part of the difficulty. Number three on Sanders. They never ran stuff. They've always had so much talent that he could break it down initially, either with a dribble or a quick hitter. Wow. A lot of air under that shot. Did oh, Patrick do it? He did. Oh, my God. They crash hard down there. Trey is up. Clark is up. Everybody's okay. Oh, a visiting professor better not sit at the end of that bench, huh? What a takeout. <laughs> Fix the tie yeah, out. Yeah. It's, he, won't, he, won't show, he won't show the pain, uh, but you don't gain victories unless you get after it. And you can see right there, a little shove by Clark made that thing Ooh. worse. Good catch. Here comes Sanders. Look ahead for Billet. He'll be challenged, but make it. He knows how to get the body. Oh, does he go after guys? Nice little shoulder lean and then the left. A little run here by Rutgers. The last four points and a little crowd noise. Tanise or Hodgson are out of with the rebound. Tanise back into the game. Billet for three. Just can't get it up high enough. Billet went for the steal. Gambling and Kilpatrick will make them pay at the other end. Nice little run, but he just counterpunch. Kevin wants to charge. I think it was a good call. Either that or let it go. Nice slide by. Well, if you miss, you better get ready to get the puppies going the other way. Make the short, make the floor shorter, give it up early. And you can see right there the little slide and Trey for two. He's had a couple of good days here at the Big East Tournament, hasn't he? He sure has. I, I think he's got a game. But finishing that thought, Dan, with the great talent over the years, yep. it's been... 
a team that can put your way. They get a lot of their defense, open floor play. But now they're forced to use the coaching end of it. So then they're like, like nice screens off a shuffle cut, little post pop outs, stuff that I'm sure they were doing, but they never got to the full extent of it. Well, it's been a very frustrating year for John Thompson, but if you wonder in some ways if it's been a very rewarding year for him as well. Well, he said he, the kid yesterday, you, you heard him, the kids never stop working. He's had a ball with them. There's the post flash. And unfortunately, Burton a little bit late. Burton, a starter, doesn't get all that many minutes, though, at the off guard spot. That's just his first foul. Now, there's the post. They match up. I think you got to flash in, and they do. Nice drag out by Hodgson, and Burton just gets there a tad late. Just Cassell in Jersey. You got another one. Sanders didn't keep it too long. Got that nice little touch pass right back to Hodgson, rolling the lane. Face the ball. See that nice little play. Very alert by Hodgson as well. And he acknowledges. And the foul charged to Watkins is fourth. And a whole lot of time left in a very important game for both teams. Kevin Bannon trying to rally the troops. Rutgers finally getting a little room in the middle there to get back into this game. And we are back with Rutgers having narrowed the gap to six points. Finally, it appears, starting to solve the interior of that Georgetown defense. That's a good thing for them because the outside shots aren't going down and you think it's all those minutes adding up. It does. I mean, it's got to touch you, particularly with the shooting. And 29, obviously, all of the minutes thus far. He's strong. He's got great legs. It's suck-up time. And they know it. They're going to have to go wire to wire down the stretch those two unless they foul out Hodgson and billet and again for rutgers to get to the postseason they either need to win the entire tournament to get the ncaa automatic bid or to get to the nit they need to win today and beat uconn tomorrow to get to 500 Joe patrick with an ill-advised shot will come to start at night johnson for three Again, everything front rim. Hodgson inside, four-point game. Well, if you're going to miss, you might as well attack the 10. They had the perimeter people in shape to balance the floor. Nice play by Hodgson, and nobody on him. Check it out. 17 for Hodgson, and maybe that's because Watkins is out of the game with his fourth foul. Gibson switched pivot feet out here before. Denise not even acknowledging him. I, I think he can make that shot, don't you? He thinks he can. Yeah. <laughs> That's more important. Yeah, he's made a couple. That's a tough one for long. Not a good one. Two bad ones. Right out of the timeout. Johnson, what a finish. And boy, did they come right back at him. John wants 20. Boy, talk about shooting yourself in the leg. Georgetown help Rutgers. Is a resilient bunch. Earl Johnson looking like a wide receiver hauling in this pass. Uh, John, I'll be concerned about shot selection, and you want to push and get yourself up and down as best you can. Weak side rebound to fill that way. Nice catch. They're fortunate they didn't get the scrape as well. But all because you rush a shot, good vision, and he got it to the right hip. Can't beat that. No. Nope. Can't make the threes. Rebound. Rush out before the defense gets set. Hoyas had a 10-point lead. It is down to two. There's the run. That Rutgers is on right now. Always like to see what a team runs off the timeout. Especially when they've had two bad shots yeah. the last two times down. Yeah, they'll use a little clock here. Nice post up. Long for the baseline. Knocked away by Sanders. Donaldson. Billet for the lead. Boy, he got it all together there. Nice find by Johnson. I mean, he put a little extra push on the balls of his feet. Propel him up. 
You know, they're an enjoyable team to watch, especially considering where the program has come from and all the losing years they've had. To see them starting to make some strides is fun to watch. He's fun to watch, too, isn't yeah. he? And he competes. Bill is able to hang tough. You can't make them all. Even the great ones can't. So Patrick and a push on Sanders, and I believe that is number four on him in limited minutes, but he's had a huge impact on this game. He sure has contributed, and right away, uh, the hook. It's not Sparky Anderson, but uh, Kevin Bannon, the quick hook to save him. Here's the trail. Defense all collapses because of the push and the dribble and the run. And he gives it a little bada-bing, as well as his... Partner on the sidelines there, Kevin, a pretty good point guard himself at St. Peter's. Back in the old Don Kennedy. Well, I guess it was after Don Kennedy, though. All Jersey guy, coaching yeah. all over the state before winding up at Rutgers and another foul against the Scarlet Knights. I think Kevin had Don Kennedy and Dick Pantano, if I'm not mistaken, who later moved on to the business world. Do you like seeing a, a Jersey guy through and through coaching a Jersey team? Well, I think at that stage, at that university, it was very important. Uh, they're trying to make a move to getting Jersey kids. I'm thinking football now. Uh, basketball, it's been a spawning ground for so many programs that come in and get kids. So his job will be to try and get the best of the group and then expand relationships with high school coaches to, that have a kid and can help them uh, Make a decision. Good day for Al. Now three of six from the line, 13 points, and Johnson lost it. And there's the pressure too. You got to be ready. Now that is Georgetown of old. Convert off the free throw. You haven't seen it all game. Sometimes guys, there's a composure that you must maintain. And right away, the big thing, right on the ball. You don't get good vision. There's the trap. The hurry. And Kilpatrick inside to give the Hoyas the lead. Great kill Patrick putting together a very good afternoon. Seven points, six rebounds. Villain's going to get a bump baseline. Inside 10. Villain stripped. Here comes Al. Numbers for Georgetown. Out the distance. And he walked. I'll tell you, I don't know if he walked. But they just ran out of his way. I think he was shocked that he was that open. And Georgetown wasn't ready, but in effect, that would have been a backcourt if it went to Rutgers anyhow. Turnover by Rutgers, second time in the last minute. Well, the Scarlet Knights have been unable to handle that Georgetown pressure. Now be sure to join Chris Fowler along with Dick Dicker and Quinn Sunday at 6.30 Eastern. The men's tournament selection special presented by GTE. Then at 7.30 it's the women's special presented by State Farm. Robin Roberts, Mimi Griffin, and Rebecca Lobo. Follow your team as they are set to the tournament. Well, there can be a lot of nervous people wondering if their teams are going to go. The, especially on the men's side. It's a pretty big bubble in existence these days, isn't it? It sure is. Uh, ever expanding. I think a lot to do with the coverage of college basketball. Fran Fraschilla is having a party in town for his team. Very and, nice. And, uh, you know, they, they now know, I guess they're assuming they're in. Sure. I'm sure you, nothing is certain until established. But just to enjoy their efforts, he said. Well, they've got T-shirts, Club 186, 186 days from their first meeting as a team in September to Selection Sunday. That was their goal uh, all season long. Yeah. Four-point lead for Georgetown. See if Rutgers can just get it over and get set. They post Hodgson. He runs down and through, and then they flash the guard. Pretty side to me. Blocked from behind by Al. Tuomo then reaches in as Greer follows. But Tanise has got to get himself to propel quickly or use the old head and shoulder fake. You don't get dandruff, but you get rid of them. <laughs> he's just so exposed. Right here, he's just totally committed. And great block from the rear, and then Greer picks it up. Greer had a huge game, we told you, last month when the Rutgers Charlotte Knights blew out Georgetown. That is his first point of the day. 
and still with the foot. I'm sure it's probably worse today after running on it. Rebound now. And again, not to overplay it, but that's why Sanders was so important today. And that fourth foul was exactly when Georgetown started stepping up the pressure and getting back the lead. Straight up man-to-man -man now. There's a little side pick. Long looking for room. Found it. He keeps his dribble alive. Now underneath, and he's got him. They get even a little retribution. He puts pressure on you. You always think he's going to take that jumper. Option cutting through. Billet had it knocked away. Kilpatrick's got great wheels. He sure does. What anticipation. Sort of an unforced hour, too. Just a little reckless with the basketball in the open court. Moyes by five. Option again looking for room in the middle. Gibson right on his back. There's that flash. See, Billet comes in. Now he's going to pick a side. Try and screen him. There's the reverse. Ooh. Long pass. Johnson. And a foul. They get Tuomo from the rear, I think. And that's going to be the seventh team foul committed by the Hoyas. So Johnson's going to go to the line. You throw court course pass him, it's a lot of teams it's going to be received. Georgetown, they cover so well and react so well. He got a chance for any of those passes. Johnson, a very good free throw shooter, although a bit of an unorthodox way of shooting. He's nowhere near the middle of the lane. He's way off to the right side from the basket. Are you speaking politically? <laughs> Will Chamberlain was a guy that used to go to the left corner and shoot. Because the way he shot, he tried anything. Yeah, that's right. Johnson's up over 80. Got a ball game here between the Hoyas and the Scarlet Knights. Three-point game. After this game between the Hoyas and the Knights heads on to the semifinals of the Big East Championship to meet up with UConn. Khalid el -Amid outstanding in the first game played here in New York today, beating Kevin Freeman, who had a very good game as well. UConn beating a stubborn Providence team, 64-55 to to move on to the semis. Good game as well for Richard Hamilton. There's UConn waiting for the winner of this game. And tonight in a couple of games you'll see on one network or the other, Syracuse, Villanova, St. John's, and Boston College. Notice how the 11, 12, and 13 seeds all won yesterday it's been a couple of days of upsets providence came close it was a very tough game against uconn nine point game it was really a lot closer than that oh, what a play a clear off the timeout but how about the use of the glass the kiss with affection <laughs> he has such confidence now i mean this is this, i can't believe it's the same player so early in the year five field long. goals 20 shots five of 20 today for his 12 points Greer needs one to go down. Tanise pushed his man out of the way, and then he couldn't finish. Well, he's a little tentative around the net, Tanise. Let's go back to the studio. Here's John. All right, guys, an update in the Atlantic 10 UMass and GW. Mike Babel picks up the loose ball in the paint, kicked around, knocks it in, plus the foul. Right now, UMass by six. Dan and Bill. John, thank you. GW a lock? Wow. I'm not on the committee. <laughs> the last opinion I had was when my wife said yes. <laughs> oh, that's a CM Newton and his group. Yep. Not an easy task. Yeah, they got to be in the hunt. But winning does help. And the uh, mid Dayton, you know, you're now I'll ask you, is Dayton? Well, Dayton's got who they've got coming up, Rhode Island. I mean, they can knock off them. Uh -huh. it, it changes day by day. Uh, Georgetown here knocking off Miami, probably relegating the Hurricanes to the NIT at 18 and 9. Nice flash here by Al. Trey Kilpatrick has a little something about him. I mean, he doesn't have to score to contribute. That steal at half court, that post pass, the courage to make it. Confidence that Al is going to do something positive once he catches it. John's got something building here a little bit. A lot of junior college players have trouble adjusting to Big East play, but Kilpatrick, through most of the season, was the Hoyas' leading scorer. Got 
swallowed up in the middle of the year when he didn't play very well, but he's really come back strong here at the end of the season. John eliminates that adjustment period. Go do this. <laughs> Four face the yes, music. sir. <laughs> this is a problem for Georgetown, though. As a team, they don't shoot well from the line, and as an individual, Al's just three of seven today. Hodge should have missed it. Sam Sanders and his four fouls back in the game now for Rutgers. Watkins and his four still on the bench for Georgie. And that's probably why they've gone to this zone with Sanders back in there. Out in the top, can't get into traffic too much. He's in for Greer, who's had a tough day. Now has Billet guarding him. Now gets inside, out to Tuomu. Long, tough, tough shot. shot. Saved inbounds by Gibson. What a great play by Reese Gibson. Did you see Kilpatrick trying body search? Long again. <laughs> Two big time goals, don't you think? Takes a tough shot, air balls it, comes right back, takes a leaner to score. It's a six point game. It's a four point game. That is such an open area. And that's because guys can shoot the ball. Uh, the big guys are reluctant to come out. And now it's almost a one-on-one -on -one situation. And you're coming from an angle here in the back of the zone. Now here's the angle. Both left and right. Nothing but a swipe. And the wrist. Now they're simple for Rob. But another little bit of courage to make that pass with a little heat on it. Jeff Phillip finds his partner. Does all the little things, this guy. Having a big game today. 20 points on the afternoon for Rob Hodgson. Season high is 22 at Notre Dame. Now, that's a sh I don't know why Sam is coming out. I think he's got a back on the foul line. He doesn't have to play particularly to Omo when he's out there. That's the guy you got to play right there. Oh, my goodness, is he eating up? Zone, getting the great angles and the East didn't get topside support. They're going to call a 20. And I'm sure he's got to come out of that zone, huh? They've been eating it up. Coming up Sunday on ABC Sports, you will see the Prime Star 500 from Atlanta. It's NASCAR action featuring Dale Earnhardt, Jeff Gordon, Rusty Wallace, and Mark Martin. Sunday at 1 Eastern, 12 Central, and Pacific on ABC Sports. Well, the name on the back of the jersey is long. Are you sure Victor Page hasn't crawled back into this program? Well, John has always been long with talent. Here's the bouncing the belt. What's the jump stop now? He can't step forward. He's got to elevate or shoot it. Kiss at the end. This is just wonderful understanding of use of the pivot feet. And that's what that glass is up there for, Red Arback said. <laughs> use it. Sennard Long with 16. Rob Hodgson with 20 for Rutgers. Quarterfinal game of the AT&T Big East Championship. Dan Shulman and Bill Rafter with you. Just five minutes to go. The winner faces UConn tomorrow in the semis. Hodgson feeling it now. Dumps it inside for Clark and it's taken away. He actually lost the ball before he went to throw it. Watkins with a great defensive stop that time. He was in the middle then got out to the corner. They're not able to get the post pass with those long arms. Hodgson playing the middle of the zone for Rutgers. And Clark down in the corner. Here's Watkins. So it's a 3 2. And they'll get shaped to where you are. Here comes the run baseline. Steps. Five on the shot clock. Guess who? Long misses. Watkins keeps it alive, but here's Barrett hard to the floor. Now Sanders with help. Look at this move. Everything but. And Billet's down, by the way, Dan. He'll feel good now that they got the basketball. Uh, Kevin Bandit knows he's a gamer. He's not going out. He might be uh, singing like a soprano, but he's not coming out. <laughs> I heard his, I heard his squeaky. I'm all right. <laughs> oh, does he give it all? Oh my goodness, on the side there. Everything is for Everything. Oh. It has been physical, huh? These couple of days. It's uh, well, they give everything they have. They know how meaningful each trip is. And Sanders with marvelous use of the bounce in the open floor. Yeah, he can really get up and down. He had some help. And didn't see it behind him as trailers. Now Watkins is going to come back out. Al back in. Yeah, you know why you like Billet, I mean, at least as a former player or as a former coach? You don't even have to ask him if he's all right. Kevin Bannon never looked at him. You know. He's looking at him. Get up. What are you kidding me? 
to Olmo. Kevin abandoned furious. There was no travel call there. Four minute marks, four point game. Now look at the match down with Kilpatrick underneath. They got to take advantage of that. Out, triple team, great five for Gibson. Johnson the block, Clark the rebound. Oh, you got to go up strong. Reese. Georgetown. This is to Omer with 340 to play. Let's go. That's the Joseph to Omer battle cry. Keep him up. And he's a peppy guy. I mean, just an integral part of this team now. I mean, he's sacrificed any personal goals. You love point guards. That'll give that. Now, that's a little off center. Right? Now, what would you, as a coach, would you? Now, he shoots 80%. Well, then you don't say anything. <laughs> you want to move a little further? Go ahead. Yeah. Now, I asked you this before. Are you a right winger? No. Or a left? <laughs> are you a conservative? Just a basketball stand. So you, you'd shoot stand. right in the middle. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sit on the and fence. You don't shoot possible. 80. You want to move to the right. <laughs> One and two for Johnson. Three-point game. Can Rutgers, the resilient bunch from Piscataway, bounce back one more time. For better or for worse, it has been Chenard Long taking most of the shots today, Bill. Well, he has been a total. I got the hands in, and Trey Kilpatrick able to finish it off. But John has gotten him involved in the offense most of the trip to kiss shot the little lane runner. He has been solid. But life storyline, the bench has been very strong for Georgetown. Chenard Long shooting often and scoring not quite as often. Rutgers from outside. That has been one of their strengths. Well, it's not the shooting percentage by Long. It's now he's taken a number of good shots, and he's got to think now on two for two. Um, not... I'm telling you, he's developed that Victor yeah. Page mentality. Uh, he, I've seen him give it up. Yeah, okay, fair. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Victor Page, by the way? Is he playing organized basketball? He played, he played in the CBA, and I don't know what he's doing now. I, I, he may still, of course, it's close to being over. Straight up man to man. And the last trip they were in it as well. Move and go. Two-man game. Oh, it's long. Georgetown the ball? Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not the right call. It's either an over-the-top by Kilpatrick or Rutgers ball. Well, and, and the that's crowd the, thinks it's Rutgers ball, judging by their reaction. We're not in the Bronx, but that's what they call the Bronx cheer. Yep. And you've heard that from oh, yeah. baseball telecast. Johnson right up on to over. There's a blocking foul on him. I mean, that was a big play. I mean, that is a harmful call. And Kevin, good control. And that's like uh, the teacher admonishing you, that little head shake. Number four on Earl Johnson sends to Omu to the line. A ways to go still. Three minutes to play. Two shots both ways the rest of the way. 77% free throw shooter. Look at that out of bounds play one more time, though. And you just right there, right, that's a, either an over the top or even Sanders if you want to give him the foul. But clearly it went off Kilpatrick. Mm -hmm. Is that uh, because you didn't get the foul kind of a call? Clark has it. Here at Georgetown plays now. Looks like they're going straight up. No. Backing into the zone again. A little confusion initially between yeah. Tuomo and Long defensively. Now look at Watkins. He covers that middle area just, oh, not that time, though. Sanders to the middle. <laughs> Boy, this is some frenetic action down here. Ten seconds to shoot it. Bill waits and draws the foul. How about that? They have found a hole. Squatters rights by Rutgers. But just inside the foul area, three-second lane, either with a flash, and then the sky cam will show you. They've been able to get it right there. That's one trip. Johnson tries that. Two. Great hustle. 
sure you mentioned the frenetic play. And now the leader of the pack, Billet, knows how to use his board. Step in and the soprano raising of the voice, the jump stop, and now the lean, the switching of hands. Such a clever little player. And that is it for the big man. Jameel Watkins, every time he steps on the floor, commits a foul, and he is done. Big loss in the middle. That'll make that middle all that much more appetizing for Rutgers. Everybody else backed under the rim more. Watkins at least was up in the lane. And that's all attributable to having to play the outside shooters. So the guards step out on top of the key. Georgetown, as they tend to do, struggling from the line. Rutgers coming on. Three great ones on this team. Bullet, Hodgson, and Johnson all shoot free throws well. <laughs> Happened again. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, the rebounding key, I think, for Rutgers. They've been playing solid man-to-man. -man. And Long's the guy he got to identify. They got Bullet on him. Good hedge by Johnson. Bill Patrick. From 19-9, he shot at about 22, and it is still Georgetown ball down on the baseline. Abubakar, ow. What a big-time play. He got pushed, held on to the ball, stayed in bounds, and then, as you should, ends up throwing it off a Rutgers man. Hodgson is the guy here. A great play by Abubakar. 13 points, 11 rebounds, and a great save for Al. Long always looking for a hole. Nearing the two-minute mark, Bill, two-point game. Bill Patrick snaking his way in there is foul. They are doing a wonderful job keeping the dribble going. Keep it alive. Bring it back. Kevin Bannon a little frustrated. Clark in the middle of the pack there trying to help out a Trey kill Patrick, just like Long, wisely. Keeping that dribble going. Put it on his hip. And a step forward, maybe to reach down, cost Clark. Patrick, pretty good free throw shooter. Oh, damn. Oh, I gotta even it up. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and now we'll see it anymore. <laughs> Just give me his percentage, Dan. 75. All right. <laughs> he should be making those. I was struggling today, though, huh? One of two seems to be the theme of the day. Yeah. Jeff Greer is back into the game for Rutgers for Sam Sanders. Some outside shooting. Also, he can use the dribble. Sanders staying right close to Kevin Bannon. Maybe getting set to check back in. But Bannon's going to make some quick substitutions. One possession game. Pretty. Well, he's not the shooter. Clark didn't want it. Five. Rear. Front rim. Hodgson the rebound. And a foul on the floor. I think Tavolo. Nice rebound by Hodgson. Out-wrestled his own man for it. Those tired legs, mm -hmm. though, exhibit in that stroke. Number four on Joseph Tavolo. And again, both sides shooting two the rest of the way. about Hodgson, uh, coach's son, his dad, spent a lot of time. Bob Hodgson, because he first went to Indiana. Yes, spent a semester yeah. there, transferred out. And it's all worthwhile this year, I think. He's had a big impact. And he's still just a junior. Timeout on the floor with a minute 24 to play. And again, Rutgers just will not go away. They are down one to Georgetown in a battle between the bottom two seeds in the Big East Championship. Tomorrow on ESPN, a championship week continues. Presented by 7-Up, ACC quarterfinal action at noon and 2. That first game, Maryland-Georgia Tech at 2. North Carolina taking on the winner of Florida State and NC State. A couple of semis from the Garden here at 7-9 and nine Eastern. And then out to the WAC for a midnight game. Five games. Great conference tomorrow on Network ESPN. Well, there's some moves uh, both of us don't possess. I know that. <laughs> Top to bottom, Hodgson with the free throws. Gets him within one. 
Sanders back in. Little offense defense here for Rutgers. Mm -hmm. Tuomu, Gibson, Al, Long, and Kilpatrick for the Hoyas. They like to get it to Long in the last couple of days, anyhow. A few times. They post him on the other side. Al wants him. Clear. Going to take Hodgson. Offensive foul. Sam Sanders with four fouls. Stood his ground. And now they're going to walk first. We have a walk first on the other side of the floor. So wave off the charge, but give Rutgers the ball. And they get, as you said, girl back in the game for Sanders. Mubakar out. Thinks he's got an opportunity to go all the way here on the clear. Offering it up. And, yep. Yeah, uh, I'd rather that. Yeah, Kevin goes, he can't believe it. He... <laughs> you remember the those days? Oh, I sure do. <laughs> you love him, and then you want to dismiss him. Rutgers can take the lead in the final minute of play. You know where it's going. In the middle somehow. Clark sets a screen for Billet. Billet will pop. Greer the rebound. Greer again. I don't think they give this to Al, maybe. What an effort. Jeff Greer kept after it. Maybe a little short on, on the first stroke. This is the first stroke here after Jeff misses his. Just this, you know, you're so close to the hole, you don't stroke it properly. But keeping it alive, and Aaron Clark able to kick it back out. John Thompson wants a full timeout with 33 seconds to play. And Rutgers headed to the line when we return. Following the Big East, we move to the Big Ten. Pete Lasicki will try and lead Penn State to a victory over Wisconsin. Is coming up from Chicago. One score to update you on in the Atlantic Ten. UMass down to George Washington by four. Oh, it's too bad there aren't any good games going on. Oh, what a great time of year. John enjoying that sheet up there. Let everybody in the country know what's going on. Larry Tetner, looks like his numbers were good. Outstanding center and prospect. Two huge free throws coming up for Eric Clark, who is one of two today. Yesterday, remember, he was at the line all day long. Seven of 14 from the line yesterday. So he is not a good free throw shooter. John taking full advantage of the extra time. Don't go to the line early, Eric. That's it. A lot of guys will stand there and wait for everybody. I think you tighten up a little bit. Of course, John, the extra seconds maybe for that very reason. Now they might have to clean up a spot on the floor that Joseph Turomo has brought to the attention of the officials. So an even longer delay for Clark. doing housework today. Very <laughs> tidy group. Mark Walsick there checking in with the numbers. Rob Lanier. Vincent Danny Hurley. Very exciting year on the banks of Maritown. Tie game. What water. Ice water to vein. This is the senior. Trying to go out in style, trying to prolong his career one more day. Was that a little prayer, maybe? It worked. Shot clock turned off. I think Long or Al are going to get the touch initially. Little pop out. Double screen one side. Help by Hodgson. Tough shot. Got it. Shannon Long. Couldn't have played it any better. What a pull. Lots of time left for Rutgers. And Kevin Mann will burn a timeout. 9.8 seconds to play. Shernard Long responds and gives Georgetown the lead. Down a point. You knew it was going along. You knew he was taking the shot. It was a tough one, and it went down. Rutgers ball when we come back. Well, 
Well, although Chouinard Long misses more than he makes, you want a guy who wants the ball in the last 10 seconds of the game. Well, I said he was two for two. He missed one. He's now three for four down the stretch. They ran a beautifully designed play by JT. It's a double screen on the one side. The Hodges covers, and here comes Billet on the shot side. He elevates. Now there are onions, and then there are Long. <laughs> and John Thompson set it up, pulled it out, and they get the set on the floor, and he wants another one. John Check Thompson's out Rutgers. taking a 20. Yeah, look at Rutgers put out there, yeah. where they put him. 26 now, shots. You've got it. Th now, easy. I just said he's three for four. All right, all right. <laughs> you got to think like a shooter now. All right, we'll make him look good. He's got. <laughs> he's averaging 24 points a game his last five games, and if they're going to move on, it's in large part due to him. Winner of this game, UConn tomorrow in a semifinal. Then tonight, for the first time, you'll see Syracuse and St. John's making their first appearance here at the AT&T Big East Championship. UConn was challenged by Providence. It was a tie game with four minutes to go before the Huskies ran out to a nine-point win. And checking those numbers out, one each. Billet's going to touch it. They're going to try and keep him out of it. He may dump it off to somebody. Rutgers looking to win it. Here he is. Two seconds. Billet. than half a second to go when Billet released, hit, and won the game for the Scarlet Knights who have themselves a date with UConn tomorrow in the semifinals of the AT&T Big East Championship. What a game here in New York. Let's go back to John Saunders in the studio. John? All right, Dan and Bill, thanks.